No matter how many immersive mods you install, aren't you disappointed with your robot-like character? Didn't you look at your robot-like character and rationalize that this was for the best? Don't do that anymore today we're going to be discussing mods that will make your robot-like character more human-like with you. Through this video, you will be able to make your character more alive. So please watch this video until the end. And I would really appreciate it if you click subscribe and like once before the video starts. Then let's begin. The first mod I will introduce to you is Look What You See. One of the most important features of the Look What You See mod is that it changes the player's character to become smarter. This is achieved by allowing the player's head to look at the camera and in real time, making it feel like the game is actually controlling the character. Another important aspect of this mod is that it provides an automatic lock when talking to someone during a dialogue. This makes the experience of talking to NPCs feel much more immersive and believable, as the player's head will naturally turn to face the person they are speaking to. One of the main benefits of using this mod is that it is completely configurable and customizable through the MCM menu. This means that the player can easily adjust the settings to their liking, including the key bindings for each mode and the speed at which the head moves. When using this mod with true directional movement, set follow the camera mode and look at the screen mode to hybrid. That way your character will only look towards the center of the screen when looking towards the monitor. Therefore, the Look What You See mod is highly recommended for those who want to make their characters smarter in the world of Skyrim. Makes smarter changes to the character by allowing the player's head to follow the camera movement during conversations. The second mod I'll introduce to you is Let Your Hair Down. The Let Your Hair Down mod allows players to switch between their hairstyles with ease. When players are in different locations, they can switch between combat hair and relaxed hair, making their characters more alive. When you start using the mod, you can set two hairstyles and up and down hairstyle through the race menu. Then assign them via the MCM. The mod then takes care of automatically switching between the two styles depending on your location. If you're in an inn or other interior location, your hair will automatically let down, while it will revert to your combat hair while exploring the game's vast world. The mod supports several interior location keywords, such as player house, house, dwelling, steward's dwelling, inn, store, and temple. If you wish, you can also toggle the mod on or off in the MCM menu when you're in cities and towns. Furthermore, the Let Your Hair Down mod allows you to save up to three different hair combinations, so you can switch between them at any time. This feature is especially useful for players who enjoy customizing their characters and switching things up often. Finally, to make the transition between hairstyles more realistic, the mod adds several animation options to choose from, such as the Serana Hood animation and the Quick Feminine animation, or random animations. You can download these animations separately from the mod. Overall, the Let Your Hair Down mod is a great addition to Skyrim that adds an extra layer of immersion to the game. The mod is highly configurable, easy to use, and works seamlessly with other modifications. Whether you're exploring the open world or relaxing in a cozy inn, this mod allows you to fully customize your character's look and feel. The third mod I will introduce to you is Read the Room. Read the Room is a mod that makes Skyrim characters more lively and smart by allowing the character to automatically equip or unequip a helmet based on its location. One of the biggest issues with wearing a helmet in Skyrim is that it can be tedious to constantly equip and unequip it in different situations. With Read the Room, you no longer have to worry about this. The mod tracks your character's location and determines whether it is a safe or hostile area. Depending on how you configure the mod, your character will automatically equip their helmet upon entering a hostile zone or when leaving a safe area. Similarly, the helmet unequip animation will automatically trigger when entering a safe zone or leaving a hostile one. Read the Room also incorporates immersive equipment displays to bring characters to life. 
Through IED, helmets are incorporated into animations and are carried on the hip when not being worn. This means that helmets will be visible on your character even when they are not being worn, and will add to the overall realism and immersion of the game. The mod is compatible with any mod added armor, so you can continue to use your favorite helmet designs without any issues. The mod also includes animated equip and unequip animations for your character's helmet, which further adds to the realism of the game. The fourth mod I will introduce to you is Conditional Expressions. The Conditional Expressions mod is a Skyrim mod that adds subtle face animations to your character to add more personality and realism. These animations happen when the character is idle or based on certain conditions. The mod is designed to fit all characters, regardless of their backstory or moral alignment. The mod adds a variety of new face expressions. For example, when your character is standing around, there are 32 new random idols that can occur. These animations happen every 5-15 seconds and last only a few seconds to avoid distracting from gameplay. When your character is eating, the mod adds an eating animation where they will open their mouth and chew. This adds a new level of realism to the game. The mod allows you to choose between fast or slow eating animations, depending on the body animation type you use for eating. Note that if your character is cold and their mouth is shivering, no eating animation will play. When sneaking or swimming, your character will squint their eyes and look at their surroundings. The mod randomizes these results to avoid repetition. When your character is out of stamina, they will breathe heavily, trying to catch their breath. This animation stops playing when above 50% of your stamina pool. The mod also adds an expression for when your character is hurt and below 50% health but not in combat. The character will look hurt and a bit scared. There are four different versions of this expression to keep things interesting. During combat, the combat expression takes precedence, and you will see the hurt expression after combat. The fifth mode to introduce is random emotions. This mod adds a script that will control the player character's facial emotions in a semi-random way. Optional version also supports up to 10 followers. It will provide more dynamic idle facial emotions than the conditional expressions just introduced. Since this mod is focused on idle facial emotions, it is better to arrange ESP right under conditional expressions, disable random idle expression of conditional expressions in MCM and use random emotions. When using this method, conditional expressions are output for various behaviors other than idle, and the emotion of this mod is output for idle emotions. It actually expresses dynamic emotions, but since it is output randomly, emotions suitable for the appropriate situation are not output. If you want a specific emotion to appear, you have to click it so that the character expresses that emotion through MCM. So, if you want to use idle for the right situation, you can express your character's emotions with one conditional expression. The sixth mode to introduce to you is ZX Slice's Ultimate Potion Animation. ZX Slice's Ultimate Potion Animation mod is a SKSE plugin that changes the way potions are consumed in Skyrim, providing a more realistic experience for players and NPCs. This mod eliminates any delay or script crowding, making it the most efficient potion animation reaction mod available. By executing on the game engine level, the mod provides a seamless potion experience without any delay or interruption. This means that all potion animations will be executed immediately, providing players with a more realistic and immersive potion experience. Additionally, players can uninstall the mod at any time without affecting their saved data. This mod supports all types of potions, and when a potion is used from the inventory menu, favorite menu, or shortcut key, the menu will automatically close and the player will perform the potion animation. The potion effect will be applied exactly at the moment when the bottle reaches the character's mouth, creating a more realistic potion experience. To ensure that the potion animation does not affect the flow of combat, the mod uses a seamless animation that switches between the potion bottle and weapon to avoid the need to re-equip the weapon after the potion animation while in combat stance. 
The mod strikes a balance between realism and game mechanics, ensuring that the potion animation is not too long and does not interfere with combat. The seventh mod to introduce to you is Expressive Facial Animation. By installing this mod last, you will succeed in creating the more natural and lively character you want. This mod replaces the facial expression morphing files used by both players and NPCs, allowing for a wider range of facial expressions to be displayed in-game. With this mod installed, you'll notice a big improvement in the facial animations of both your character and the NPCs you encounter. The mod modifies all animations, including lips, eyebrows, and eye movements, and adds a variety of new expressions that help to bring the characters to life. The mod is compatible with all races, and works with both male and female characters. Expressive Facial Animation Mod is a must-have for anyone who wants to add more realism and personality to their Skyrim characters. With its detailed facial animations and compatibility with other mods, it's a great addition to any player's game. All in all, if you want to take your Skyrim characters to the next level and make your character more natural and lifelike, these seven mods are worth a try. From realistic AI behaviors to more expressive facial animations, these mods can make your character and NPCs come to life in a way that truly enhances the gameplay experience. So, why not give them a try and see for yourself how much they can improve your Skyrim game? Now I look forward to seeing your wonderful result. Then I'll see you next time.